Hello there! This is Carla from Up With Katie. Welcome back to the channel. I am so happy that you're here today because we're going to be planning for a new month. Lots of wonderful things are coming our way. And now the month of September is showing up and we need to be ready for it. You know that here in this channel, I love sharing with you everything that I know regarding art, stationery, and of course, the bullet journal method. So we're gonna get organized and we're gonna plan for the best month ever. Last year in September, I did my Frida Kahlo Plan With Me video. I know that you love it because uh, I know I receive a lot of love from that video, so if you're interested in something like that, just go check out that video. Because this year we have something um, sort of different. I was trying to come up with a theme idea, and I wanted to be uh, regarding our history, like something that happened, you know, before in history. And I've been having Chinese art and Japanese art in mind, but I have done a Japanese plan with me video, which I'm gonna link, uh, you know, somewhere on the screen. So I didn't want to repeat myself, at least not yet. So I was trying to come up with something, I guess, different that we could learn together, and then it hit me. Lots of my students love Korea. You know that I work in a school, and even if I don't teach art there, I like, you know, to share with them what I've been doing here in YouTube. So I thought of maybe implementing Korea somehow into our planning, because I know they love K-pop, and I love, they especially love K-dramas, I, I, I know I love them too, so I thought, why not Korean art? I, uh, I don't know a lot about it, so I was researching and I found uh, something very special called Minghua, which is Korean folk art. And it just sounded so interesting that I want to learn more about it as I share with you my Plan With Me video. So the theme of the month is, of course, Minghua, Korean folk art. If you like Minghua, please just give me a thumbs up because I know you're gonna like this video. And if you know someone that loves Korean folk art, just share this video with them because I think they're gonna like them. And if you're liking my content, consider subscribing to my channel because every single week I bring here for you different videos, some related to planning, some related to art, and of course, supplies. Lots and lots of art supplies. So let's just get to work. Go grab your notebook, your pencil, your markers. Oh, and by the way, I'm trying out my new tombow markers. I finally got my uh, watercolor-based tombow markers, and I'm gonna be using them today. This is the first time I'm using them. I've never used them before. I have used watercolor markers. You know, I love Crayola. I have lots of videos regarding Crayola, but you know, I wanted to try something more, I guess, special and professional. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how I feel with them. But yeah. I'm only gonna stick to that pack of, um, I think it's tropical colors, and we're gonna create something very special. Anyway, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you at the end of the video. So here we are, ready to plan for a new month. But before I start, I just wanted to check out my new markers. They're just so lovely, and I've been wanting to have tumble markers for such a long time, and I'm finally having the opportunity to use them. So excited. It's also super nice that they come with a blending marker. Although you can see that I struggle to open the marker, but well, that's just how it is with me. I'm just doing a quick swatch. I don't want to take too long. And while I do, let me tell you a little bit about these markers. They have two tips. They're very high quality, flexible, they're nylon, and I love that they have a brush tip and a fine bullet tip. They're water-based inks, and they have a lovely set of colors in this set. And I thought it will be great with the theme of the month, which is Minhua. They are also acid-free, non-toxic, and odorless and as you'll see soon the tip self clean after blending which is something that I love you don't have to be scratching them on another piece of paper mm -hmm. 
This set has a tropical palette and it has 10 markers which includes the colorless blender. Although I do have to say that I couldn't blend them as I would have liked them. I don't know why, maybe it's just practice, I need to use them more. Uh, but I do have to tell you that I can blend my Crayola markers a little bit easier. Again, it might be practice, just something to consider. After all, this is just a swatch and not really a test. I wanted you to see the ABT Pro Pens, the markers that are alcohol based that belong to Tombow as well. I know I saw them and I, got, uh, and I got so excited with the discount that I didn't read correctly. And I bought alcohol based markers and not water based markers, which are completely different things. Uh, especially because when you use them in a notebook, they just um, go through. Anyway, um, I'm just showing them both to you. You can see that the black barrel belongs to the water base and the gray barrel belongs to the alcohol base markers. I'm sure you heard about Tombos before. Certainly a lot of people use them and love them and I'm just getting started with them. I need to practice a lot with them and I know I will enjoy using them in this plan. I just know it. Quickly here I want to show you my Chinese stamp seal. My aunt lives in Beijing and some years back she gave this gift to me, which is a seal with my name. I love it and I thought it would look so beautiful here on my table while I'm planning my new month with Minghua Art. Here is my monthly calendar and I love how it came out. You know that underneath in the description box you'll find a link so you can download it too if you like it. You can use it this month or any other month. I print them on sticker paper because I just stick them to my notebook. But you can print it in any kind of paper you want in different sizes and you can just paste it, glue it or exhibit it wherever you want. You'll also be able to purchase a print in my art store in Society6. You'll find all the links in the description box. But now let's learn about Minghua. Minghua refers to Korean folk art produced mostly by illiterate or unknown artists without formal training. I love that fact about Minghua. Because you can really see this means that art is for everyone, regardless of their skill level. This artist emulated contemporary trends in fine art for the purpose of everyday use or decoration. Minhua literally means painting of the people or popular painting. And this painting was often the work of anonymous craftsmen who faithfully adhered to the styles, canons, and genres inherited from the past. They were believed to possess beneficial virtues and to protect the owner and his family from evil forces. They feature popular themes such as rain, rocks, water, clouds, the sun, moon, pine trees, tortoises, insects, and flowers. 
Minhwa became widely popular during the 19th and 20th centuries. It was in high demand from the new merchant class and civilians. As the centralized authority and rule of the Joseon dynasty slowly collapsed starting in the late 17th century and throughout the 19th century. There's different types of Minhwa. It is divided into different categories based on its purpose, technique, and theme. The common classification is by theme and types. And the groups are as follows. Morando, which are paintings of peonies. The most well-known type of Minhua, which is Chageori, which is paintings of book and stationery. Wahoro, paintings of flowers and birds. Sip Yang Saero, which are the paintings of the 10 symbols of longevity. Mohando, paintings of characters. Ohakdo, paintings of tiger, magpie, and pine trees. Chochungdo, paintings of flowers and insects. Hopido, paintings of tiger stripes. And Yongsudo, painting of divine animals. And I apologize in advance for butchering Korean. Not at all a language that I have ever known or even know how to say hello which I just learned it's an Iwaseyo. In the images that I chose to represent Minhua in my notebook, you can see that the tiger was just so special to me. I just saw it and it is so beautiful that I wanted to do something with it. Minhua with tigers were displayed at homes in the beginning of the new year to protect families from evil, and then we all want that. Many people think tigers as dangerous and scary animals, but here you can see that they're depicted to be ridiculous, so one of the nicknames for them was uh, an idiot tiger. It is because people wanted to satirize the attitude of government by drawing pictures. You'll also see me drawing lots of flowers, trees, and mountains. I think that's because of uh, my class background that I had when I studied Chinese painting in Taiwan. Although my flowers look nothing as peonies, which are the traditional symbol of wealth, respect, and high economic well-being. I didn't draw any birds, but I did some butterflies because they symbolize a happy marriage, which is why they were used for decorating bedrooms of newlyweds or for wedding ceremonies. Now for the symbols of longevity or ethereal. These are the sun, clouds, mountains, water, pine trees, turtles, deer, cranes, peaches, and the herb of eternal youth. And they're considered to be the most grand and royal of the Minhua genre. It was used at various places for formal meals with the 10 different themes harmonizing successfully on a vast canvas. which once occupied a central position in the everyday lives of the common people, can now be seen in museums and traditional handcrafts. You might not be seeing people handing paintings of tigers or the 10 longevity symbols in their homes anymore, but it is such a beautiful art that now we know a little bit more about. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments.
Hey, thanks for sticking around. I I know that I fell in love with this plan with me video, with this plan and that we did together. Um, I don't know if it is strictly Minhua, if it is just Korean folk card, because I see a lot of things that I could, uh, that I would consider Japanese or Chinese. I guess it is a mix of them all, because I know that I love and have researched all those art movements. So yeah, uh, hopefully uh, you don't mind me mixing them a little bit. And um, some of you might know, some of you might not, that I studied Chinese painting way back like a long time ago when I lived in Taiwan. So um, yeah, hopefully uh, you'll see that I put a lot of love in this Plan With Me video. I honestly want you to have the best month ever and hopefully you're gonna use my tips and tricks and uh, my inspiration for your planning, for your bullet journal, and of course, you know, for, you know, the benefit of your own life, I guess. I don't know what I'm rambling about anymore. Uh, anyway, yes, um, I hope you're liking this video and don't forget, you know, to give a thumbs up, to share and also consider subscribing because uh, I do them with a lot of love. And I just want to let you know that I'm doing all these videos with a lot of love and respect. I by no means um, try to, I guess, appropriate of anything that's not uh, mine. I just want to share what I've been learning, what I know, what I love. And of course, I think that it's very special that I can learn something and share with you. And Korean folk art is certainly something new for me. And I just loved it. And I've been enjoying it a lot. So I am um, so grateful that you were here. Very, very thankful that you stick around. And I hope that you have a great, great month of September. If you're interested in other art movements, I have uh, lots of them. I've been doing this for three years, so I have a playlist with a lot of videos in which we plan together. I know I have artists, like I mentioned Frida Kahlo, I also have Salvador Dali, and of course I have Van Gogh, which was the first month which I had and I did my monthly calendar. Uh, remember that this month also has a monthly calendar that you can download for free and it's in the description box. But I also have art movements. I mentioned Japanese art and I also have Egyptian art, but also some others like Art Nouveau and even Up Art. So I hope you enjoy all the content that I'm creating for you. Thank you once more and you know, keep creative, keep safe and always, always be kind. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Please like and share my video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next time.